Hello and welcome to The Loop. I'm Matt Bruning. Emily Hansen is on vacation this week. Governor John Kasich announced this week that ODOT is joining Ohio State University and Jobs Ohio to invest a total of $45 million in the Transportation Research Center to advance autonomous and connected vehicle technology in our state. If anything that these advanced people who think about transportation in the future want, they want real world and real life testing. We can give it to them. We are probably, we are the best testing facility in America. I want to be the best in the world. And this is a huge investment. We're also expanding our research efforts beyond just the US 33 Smart Mobility Corridor to include I-90 in Northeast Ohio and I-270 in Central Ohio. In the next couple of decades, there will be a sharp increase in the number of driverless vehicles, the number of connected vehicles, and the number of, of smart mobility corridors. And Ohio is situated to be the epicenter of that movement, that transportation transformation that's going to take place. Ohio is quickly becoming a leader when it comes to this emerging technology. A tanker carrying gasoline crashed on a Central Ohio bridge this week. The brand new bridge had only been open for about three months. Crews in District 6 quickly mobilized to get the interchange at I-270 and US-33 in Dublin and surrounding interchanges closed within minutes of the blast to keep drivers safe. ODOT structural engineers determined that the bridge was indeed sound but did need repairs to the deck and walls. Temporary repairs got the bridge, which carries traffic from eastbound US-33 to northbound I-270, reopened by Wednesday evening. More permanent repairs will be made in the spring. Demolition of the old Ironton Russell Bridge in Lawrence County has begun. The center span of the bridge was lowered to a barge below in the Ohio River. It was then floated to a staging area where it will be dismantled. The rest of the bridge will be removed by the spring. A new Ironton Russell Bridge opened back in November, replacing the nearly 95 year old span. ODOT is stepping in to help with a local bridge project in the city of East Liverpool. The Elizabeth Street Bridge is a vital link for residents, and with that bridge closed, the only other way in and out of the Klondike neighborhood is at a railroad crossing. Unfortunately, the bridge was found to have some serious structural issues, and the city had to close it immediately. But without the funds to replace it, the city turned to ODOT for help. ODOT has come up with a proposal to the city to expedite the three and a half to four year replacement timeline utilizing federal funds. If the city of East Liverpool accepts this proposal, this project could be rebuilt in less than two years. The project estimated cost around $2 million. Did you know that ODOT's had to respond to four bridge fires in less than two years? Yeah. That's crazy, man. Now, luckily, we have an amazing team of engineers, inspectors, and maintenance personnel. They all work together to control traffic, they assess damage, make repairs, and ultimately ensure that it's safe for you to travel on. And with me to talk more about it is our own bridge guru, Tim Keller. Thanks, Dave. You're right, Dave. Around here, uh, we have a burning desire to fix problems. Oh, man, that pun is fire, bro. From a design standpoint, we build our bridges extremely robust. Whether it's a steel coil bouncing across the bridge deck, an oversized truck hitting one of our beams, or most recently a fire. We have a whole new perspective on putting out a fire. Common sense, we've decided, is not so common either. A video for the fire on here on I-70 in, in Columbus and the fire on Veterans Glass City Skyway in Toledo show drivers continuing to drive over the bridge, even with a roaring fire going on around them. So after an incident happens, we usually shut down the bridge in order to evaluate the damage. The fire on I-70 was under the bridge. The damage to that bridge was extensive because the heat rose and it caused a great deal of concrete spalling. The span under the bridge was actually completely replaced. The two fires on Veterans Glass City Skyway and the recent fire on State Route 33 in Dublin were on top of the bridge. The damage on those fires was less severe because the heat escaped upwards away from the bridge. All three of those fires caused minor spalling in the decks requiring repairs but not complete replacements. So let this be a lesson to all of you travelers out there. Don't burn your bridges. That's right. Who knew? Who knew? Get more ODOT news online at transportation.ohio.gov. Follow us on social media and drop us a note with any story ideas to loop at dot.ohio.gov. And now you're in the loop.